Do you want to spice your videos up with some awesome looking text fast? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, you're going to learn five awesome text effects that you can make within one to two minutes in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. All that stuff coming up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be updated on the newest DaVinci Resolve tutorials put out. So the first text effect that we're going to learn is the mirrored text effect. The second one is the transparent effect. The third is the neon light effect. The fourth is the 3D effect. And finally, the fifth is the right on text effect. So let's just jump into Resolve and I'm going to show you how all of these are done. So the first we're going to learn is the mirrored text effect. So in Fusion, you have your background or media in and your media out. What you're going to do is you're going to add in a merge node and then a text node and connect the text node to the merge node. Then enter your text and pick the font. All these fonts, by the way, are linked in the description as usual. Increase the size of your text and reposition it so that you have enough room for the reflection below. Next, copy the text node with control C and paste it with control V and then add in a merge node under text one and then connect both texts together. Then under the new text, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a transform node and in the inspector tab, select flip horizontally. And now you're gonna see that we have the beginning of the mirror effect. Next, grab the rectangle mask and add it to your mirrored text. Expand the mask so it isn't being cut off on the sides. Then in the inspector tab, soften the edge of the mask to 0.074. So now you can see that we have this mirror effect right here. All that's left for this is that we're gonna animate the mirror reveal. So go to frame 45 and actually add your ending point first and click the diamond button to add a new keyframe, then move to frame 20 and drag the mask up to where you can't see the mirrored text at all. So now you see we have this kind of mirrored reveal effect. So the last thing to do is to add some Gaussian blur after this transform node and then just adjust the blur amount in the inspector tab. This is really gonna sell the reflection effect. So let's move on to our second effect, which is the transparent effect. This one is super easy. So in your fusion comp, add a background node. And while the background is selected, also add a text node. You can see that it's just combined together with the merge node. So enter your text. For me, it's just city. And then increase the size to however big you want it. You can also add a transform node under the text node if you want to make your text even bigger, but you don't have to do this. It's only if you want to make your text bigger. So click on this merge node and then go to the operator tab and select XOR. So this is actually going to make the text transparent. And finally, just merge the text together with your media. And now that you can see that the video is actually playing through the text. You can also change the color of the background and even replace the background node with video by deleting the background node and connecting an image or like a video to the merge node. All right, so moving on to our third effect, the neon light effect. First, add your text node and then enter your text, then choose the font. For this one, it's actually pretty important, so I'm using Reef. So increase the size of the font to whatever you want, then make the text color something bright. This looks pretty good right here. Then you're gonna copy and paste that text node two times. One's gonna be disconnected up here, and the other one you wanna merge after the media in node. You'll also want to change the color of this one to a very dark yellow kind of black. And you'll do that by just dragging down the slider. Next, under this text, you're going to add in a glow effect and a soft glow effect. And then under our original text, you're going to want to add in the box blur. So now we need to mess with some of the settings of these nodes. Starting on the soft glow, bring the gain down to about 1.26 and bring the glow size up to 100%. Then bring down the blend to about 0.85. Next, under the glow node, change the apply mode from normal to threshold. And then on the high end, drag the slider down to about 0.7. Now move to the box blur and put it in your viewer and drag the vertical and horizontal strength up to about 0.95. What you're gonna do next is merge both of these texts together and then merge that with the rest of the stuff. So now you see we have this neon glow effect. And the final step for this is to make the flicker effect. So under frame 10, click on this merge node and add a keyframe under blend and then drag it down to zero. Move to the next frame with the arrow key and bring it back up to one. Move forward one frame and bring it back down to zero. 
and on the next frame, you're gonna bring it back to one. And then once again, the next frame is zero. And then skip like 10 or 15 frames and do the exact same thing. So now you see we have this neon text effect with a flicker effect. So let's move on to our fourth effect, the 3D text effect. So first add your text, then drag this node pretty far away and enter your text. You can also change your font. I'm using Bungie for this one. Then change the color and scale it up to what you want. Next, add the shadow effect. Change the color to your background color by using the color picker, obviously, if you can. So next, zoom in on the text and use the shadow offset to change the shadow positioning. So we want the shadow to smoothly transition into this like 3D effect. So have the shadow offset just a little, but you want this to be a smooth curve right here at the edges. Then copy your shadow node, paste it, and add it back in. And now you're gonna see that I got bolder and it's not leaving any jagged edges. Copy and paste it four more times. Now the last thing to do is to add our white 3D backing. So paste the shadow again, and this time change the color to white. Then copy and paste that node two more times. So now you have the 3D text effect. So moving on to our fifth and final effect, the infamous write on effect. So first add your text and then add the mask painter node and connect it to your text node. Then of course, enter your text and change your font to a fancy brush kind of text. Then go back to your mask paint node and click on the mask tab in the inspector tab and then check invert. So now you can see your text. Then go back to your text node and scale up the size of the text. So under your mask paint node, at the top, you'll see this hot bar appears. Right now, multi-stroke is selected. Change it to stroke. Then in the inspector tab, change to the controls page and go to brush controls. Now change the brush shape to a solid and change the size of the brush to where this green circle around your cursor is big enough to cover the stroke of each letter. Then go to stroke controls and under stroke animation, change it to write on. Now you can start tracing the text in one stroke until it's all gone. And once you've done that, you'll see keyframes pop up in the timeline. So now under the mask paint node, turn off the invert. So now instead of disappearing text, it'll be written on. The last step is to speed up the write on effect. So go to your keyframes tab and hit the drop down arrow for mask paint and do the same thing for stroke. Select the time stretch tool on the bottom left and highlight the keyframes. And now you're gonna see that these handles appear on both sides. So you wanna move these keyframes together to where the whole effect happens in about a second and a half. So then go back to your selection tool by hitting V on the keyboard, highlight the keyframes once again, and then drag them to the place that you wanna see this effect take place. So there you go, five super simple text effects in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you have any suggestions for other text effects, let me know in the comments below, and I may actually make a part two of this. So that could be pretty cool. Last week, I told y'all I was gonna give away five copies of my social media lower thirds pack. Now the pack isn't out just yet because I've had some technical difficulties with it and I just want it to be perfect for you guys. But the winners are Mikey B FPV, NR Globe, The Camera Hero, Ian Go, I think, and Fine Stacks. So congratulations to all of you. I'm gonna be messaging you so if you thought this video was helpful, hit the like button. And if you liked me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me, share this video. It helps way more than you guys understand. As usual, the video on the top is a video all about the GTA effect in DaVinci Resolve. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.